Plus, splashing through Center City slush, a mess along the streets, blocking restaurants' major point of income, outdoor dining. And in parts of our area, the dig out has just begun as some people figure out where they're going to move more than two and a half feet of snow. You're watching NBC 10 News at 11. I'm Jacqueline London. And I'm Jim Rosenfield. And NBC 10 is helping you prepare for what's ahead as our area deals with the wintry mess left behind from a storm that just wouldn't quit. Let's begin with NBC 10's Stephen Fisher tonight. He's live in Allen Town. And Stephen, the snow, it has finally stopped, but not the work to clear it out. Yeah, well, Jim, funny you say that because just in the last few minutes, started to get some flurries here. What else is new, right? But the good news is, let's start with the good news. The roadways here are pretty good around the Lehigh Valley, the major roadways, I should say. This is a roadway just off of Route 22, heavily trafficked here. You can see the asphalt looks pretty good, a little wet, so freezing could be an issue. But it looks pretty good. Where we've been finding the trouble, that has been in some of the neighborhoods closer to Allentown, the city center there. So while it is easier to get around if you can get out, some people are still trying to dig out. Up and down the streets in Allentown, snow was flying everywhere. No longer coming from the sky, it was being tossed and thrown as digging out became priority. We've been digging people out all morning. It's very difficult, very heavy. Moving the snow around proved to be tough, and whether it was all day or all night, neighbors were pitching in. Her car is stuck over there, so I'm probably going to go over there and help her get her car out. She's got to go to work tomorrow, so I have all day today to dig her out. Snowblowers were working overtime, putting wear and tear on some. There's a pin in the drive, and the pin snapped. With his blower out of commission, Josh was left to do it the old fashioned way by hand. A way his neighbor says he's done it all his life. I'm in my 80s. I can't do this stuff. You're doing it? I'm doing it little by little. When it comes to the more than two feet of snow here in Allentown, many are prepared to tackle it inch by inch over the coming days. I'm not going to get it all done. I'm going to quit in about two hours and I'm going to bed. I'm 70 years old. I'm not even supposed to be shoveling, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to sleep well tonight and we're all going to be aching and Ben Gay. Yeah. Is this yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that could be waking up sore tomorrow. But one of the things to consider as we move into the overnight early morning hours is some of this slush you have here with the temperatures we have below freezing. This could freeze up on the roadways tonight. So something to consider if you are going to be heading out the door early in the morning. And as far as this area, Lehigh Valley, the Allentown area, the cleanup process, it's going to take a few more days. We're live in the Lehigh Valley tonight. Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News. All right, Stephen, hope you don't have to endure any more snow there the next time we see you live. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. And from the snowy suburbs to the slushy city, snow plows working overtime in South Philly as they try to clear the roads near 27th and Lombard. It's also a mess up and down center city streets, making it really hard to get to a key part of restaurants' bottom line, that outdoor dining. NBC 10's Matt Deluce is joining us live from center city. And Matt, we know people aren't out and about tonight, and we can clearly understand why. No surprise here. No, not at all. Some people were braving it out there, so that is good for them. But, uh, you know, of all the fun snow day activities out there, Dining outside probably is not at the top of the list. And some places tried, but others threw in a towel waiting for a nicer day. The first thing we do, just grab the shovels, grab the salt, get going with it. The day started early for Will Murphy and his staff at Cantina Feliz in Fairmount. He couldn't have diners out front, even if he wanted to. The snow just piled up and it just collapsed. A tent over these tables couldn't handle the weight. Fortunately, no one was under it, except for the heaters. I got to try and fix those. I decided today that I spent enough time out here in the snow, and that will be a task for another day. On a night like this, instead of digging in, people are digging out. Down the street at 24th and Fairmount, it was dinner and a show. Watching these two neighbors help dislodge a car. Tried to, you know. Scrape them out and give them a little push. It's what neighbors do for each other. Ed here is ready for all of it to melt. Uh, you know, it's nice for a day or two, but then it gets old pretty quickly. Delivery drivers have issues driving around or they don't want to drive, so delivery definitely slows down. Even though you think people will be ordering it, there's just no drivers. Enter Rehan Rana. People need food. I have to have. Running back and forth from his car, making deliveries, dealing with the slop and slush and parking. Parking is a big problem. 
Everywhere, give me a ticket. As flurries fell for another night, many of the tents and cabins were barren, save for a few with a roof and a view. For others, it's just Groundhog Day. So it's on to tent number three now because of the elements. And a lot of these restaurant owners have a lot of work ahead of them. Look at the snow here on top of this. And this is pretty much ice at this point. Fortunately, this is a much more stable tent structure, it seems. Uh, but, you know, these businesses, they're saying that that's why the indoor dining has been such a blessing right now, even at the 25%, because they can take care of people indoors instead of worrying about what's going on outside. Live in Center City tonight, I'm Matt Delusha, NBC10 News. 25% better than no percent at all. Matt, thank you. And tonight, people in South Jersey still digging out from the storm as well. NBC 10 here in Mount Holly, where some needed to make a path on the sidewalk, while others had to brush all that snow or dig out their tires so they don't get stuck trying to drive off. Once you get out, the main roads are mostly clear. In Delaware, the roads are in pretty good shape tonight. They've been plowed, and they're wet here at Silverside and Marsh Roads in North Wilmington. But keep in mind, they could freeze overnight and be slippery in the morning.